context, it means a person who is given his life. In Islamic context, it mainly refers to a person who has gone for jihad. He's gone fighting the Allah and he dies. So a person you know for sure has gone and has died in the cause of Islam. So a person who is truly a shahid or not, only Allah knows. There's a hadith in which one of the person in the battlefield, he had died and people prayed, etc. The prophet said, how do you know? That is the shahid or not. The messenger says, it's coming from Allah. You may never know. There were instances when people have killed themselves because of pain. So they have committed suicide, not, or not shahid. So actual person who knows the shahid is Allah and his messenger to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you get an indication. Otherwise, in today's world, you cannot say for sure. You can assume, ah, ho sakta hai. No, maybe he was. But for sure, only Allah knows. Like people normally die in the right, say, oh, shahid ho gaya. How do you know? He may have gone out to buy some food or something else, etc. So the thing is that whether a person is 100% shahid or Allah knows, and the person himself knows. But once he died, you can't wake him up and ask him whether what happened. So the thing is that for these reasons, so there are certain things that there are hadiths in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that even the janazah ka salah of a shahid need not be prayed. Why? Because a shahid has been promised Jannah. So there are certain hadiths, same with the janazah ka bath, same thing. So these are exceptions to the rule because they have been promised Jannah. But that you cannot do for a person today. At that time it was confirmed. Awahiki Muhammad Sallallahu Muhammad Sallallahu said that and so these are exceptions because of the promise Allah has given. That doesn't mean that everyone per se should not, it's not haram. It's a permission given. Hope that's the question.